What's going on guys and gals? JD here. Sorry, it's been a uh, big, big gap of time since the last time I made a video and you know, the reality is life happens sometimes. And Sorry, I've got a German Shepherd trying to crawl in my lap. Uh, but I wanted to come to you guys with a kind of a quick update and let you know what's been going on and uh, talk to you a little bit about the upcoming stuff. Uh, today I've set aside purely for filming. I'm recording uh, I don't know how many videos. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notepad. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm trying to work on four, if not five, uh, to line out for the rest of this week and get back on a schedule that's, that's getting you. Oh, now I've got two German Shepherds trying to get in my lap. Um, get back on a schedule that's keeping content flowing for you guys. Um, so, first and foremost, uh, I've done four big shoots. I say big shoots, but I've done four shoots um, since the last video I posted. Uh, I've got uh, another wrench performance and design meeting that I went to, and I did some really, really cool shooting there. I did uh, I did an 85 Coupri owned by Johnny Dedamore, and that thing's really, really cool. It's a 85 Mustang Coupe that's been completely, completely revitalized. Some of you guys may even know the car. Uh, it's got a little bit of a little bit of a reputation in the southeast, so I'm gonna put together the video on that. Then I did uh, at the same shoot. I shot two cars that day. Uh, the other is a 2011 Roush Stage 1, uh, beautiful car owned by uh, Bobby Flucker, if I said her name correctly, I believe I did, F-L-U-C-K-E-R. Uh, and then I did the uh, Foothills Mustang Club, the Mustang Club I'm a member of. I did their kickoff party and I shot probably over, I think I have like 50 or 60 edited images and shot almost 200. So I'll be putting together videos for all that. Um... I've got a really, really cool upcoming shoot. I uh, have the opportunity, a good buddy of mine, uh, well, I say good buddy of mine, uh, an acquaintance that I'm slowly becoming good friends with, uh, James has a skyline that he's asked me to shoot. I'm doing a, a promo shoot and some video work for that car, uh, which will be coming up in about a week or so. Um, so I'm really looking forward to putting that together for you guys, and I'll be sharing that as well. Um, update on Smokey. Smokey needs a lot, but I've been driving Smokey pretty much everywhere. He, he's become my daily just because my wife takes the good car. I take the busted Craigslist ride. <laughs> um, I started to film a video for you guys working on the suspension. It's got a, uh, it's got a sag, I guess you would call it. The driver's side front hangs lower than the rest of the car. I can walk around and put three fingers in the wheel gap of every every corner except for the driver's front, and I barely get one, almost two fingers in that. Um, so I pulled the car apart to look at it, and uh, it made a fool of me. There's nothing wrong. Um, so I've got some research to do into rectifying or discovering why the car is sagging on one quarter. And, and believe it or not, it's pretty common for Fox bodies to be weird like that. First of all, it's a V8 unibody car that's probably been driven hard its whole life. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe the chassis is twisted in some capacity or something like that. Um, my plans are to, uh, as I get ready to do the paint and body work on the car, take it, have it put on a frame table, verify that it's straight. And once I verify that it's straight, um, put subframe connectors on it, stiffen the chassis of the car appropriately, correctly, whichever, inter interject whichever word you want to use there, um, and go from there. Uh, suspension goals or plans for the car, I intend to do a tubular K member, A arms, coilovers, all that, so eventually that'll be rectified. Right now it's not hurt anything, the car's not rubbing in any weird way. The car's not even really slammed. It's lowered a little bit, probably three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch. Um, but I just went ahead and slapped the car back together and I'm not going to finish that video. I mean, why would I put out a video that says, hey, I'm going to take apart the car for no reason uh, <laughs> because I didn't discover a problem. Um, but outside of that, that's pretty much where Smokey sits. I've got a, uh, a Maximum Motorsport steering shaft put in the car that I just haven't, uh, haven't done yet because it's currently got busted old headers that the, uh, the original steering shaft runs through. And I want to wait until I'm doing the exhaust to install the new steering shaft just because of the position where the steering shaft runs through the primaries of those headers. It would be just, it'd just be easier to be replacing the headers at the same time. Um, and then I'm, I need to do the exhaust. That's the one downside, real big downside to my car right now is that 
driving it currently, I'm going to smell like I rolled in a puddle of gasoline every single time. Um, and that I'm, since I'm driving that car to my job at the church and driving to every photo shoot, uh, for example, a wedding I'm shooting next weekend, uh, it's kind of hard to put on a suit and tie or a sport coat and show up smelling like the racetrack. I like it, but my clients may not and my boss may not. So um, just got to work on that. Uh, the biggest barrier there and why it hadn't already been done is that, as I told you guys early on, uh, I'm doing everything I do on a shoestring budget. I'm not, you know, I've got less than 200 subscribers. I'm not making money doing this. Uh, and I've got, you know, a house, dogs, wife, you know, so I, uh, not rich by any means. So as, uh, as money allows, I'll be repairing that stuff. And of course, I'll bring you guys videos sharing the process uh, as a shade tree mechanic, a do-it-yourselfer kind of deal. Other than that, guys, uh, hopefully over the next week or so, you'll see me get back on schedule and I'll keep pounding out the content for you guys so we can uh, keep moving forward. Oh, God, did I just say, I just said a TJ Hunt thing. Uh, anyway, that's it for me, guys. I hope you appreciate the little follow-up video. In the next couple days, you're going to see a couple videos drop. Thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Catch you guys later.